Hey y'all, hey, y'all know me, dropping in to spread a little tea, and you know how we do it, so let's get right into it. Lifting the people of Florida up in prayer as they endure the stormy waters of Hurricane Milton, I'm also sending them love, hope, strength, and wishing the people of Florida calm and protection as Hurricane Milton passes through. I ask that you all take a moment of silence. For the families in Florida, also drop a comment below. You never know who's reading it. You never know who needs the encouragement and to be uplifted. And let's move on. He took the work phone too. Shit, baby. My mom texted me and said he called her crying. Crying. And um, I was like, block him. Like, shit. Block the nigga. You ain't got no reason to talk to you. You don't watch our kids. You live all the way in North Carolina, so block him. You ain't got to listen to him cry. He done heard me cry enough. So, yeah. A lot of y'all had a lot to say in the comments about me covering the E. Kane and Chris story. And a lot of y'all comments were, she's worse than Brianna. Um, she's just like Brianna. She keeps saying she's leaving him. She's never leaving Chris. Get a lady some grace, okay? As many times as, as she has tried to leave Chris, women who has been in um, DV relationships know how hard it is to um, get away from your a bruiser. And y'all know why I got to say it like that. But it's really, really hard. And the manipulation that they've already um, put on you. And the gaslighting that they do in the midst of you trying to leave them. And then they are not only have they been manipulating you, they continue to manip manipulate you as you're trying to get out the situation. So I say that to say this. Anytime she says she's leaving that man, I'm praying for her. I'm rooting for her. And the, the, the difference in this time, I believe that, I don't know. You know what? I really don't know if it's a difference. I just, for some reason, believe her. And I hope, you know, she don't prove me wrong this time. And if she do prove me wrong, then ha, 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 ha. I know y'all going to throw it in my face. But I think she may, she may be done this time. She may be done. Now, she does show that she is struggling to stay away. And when I say struggling because of, like, this next video I'm going to play for you guys when she was you know, crying about having to do things on her own. But when she said Chris called her mama, see, because he's running out of sources on how to reach her. He's used to, if he can't, if she block him and he can't get through with calls, he's used to just showing up to the house. And eventually she let him in. And eventually her and Chris is back together. Well, this time is different because she seems to be standing on her order of protection. And she still seems to be okay with him not being around. Yes, you're going to miss that person because you miss the um, the thought of what they could have been. You miss the them just being around. Like, even if you guys are arguing into it, you just miss the comfort of that person being in your home. So not only is she losing her baby daddy, she's losing somebody that was once her friend. She's using some, losing somebody that was once her homie. You know, they used to kick it, laugh, have a good time. She's use, losing her lover. She's losing her partner. You know, she's losing more than just her baby daddy. So this is like, gr she's grieving. She's going to have to mourn for a while. And I don't want to say, th the only advice I can give E. Kane is, sweetie, just keep going. And I say that because if anybody, and listen to this when I say this to y'all, anybody who is going through something where you're trying to break away from somebody or you're going through a divorce, you're going through a separation, and you feel like you can't do it without that man or that woman, you feel like you just can't make it. If you've ever lost somebody close to your heart and your soul, and that person has passed on and you still here and you still making it. Then know that you can start your life over without that spouse, because if you can get through losing someone that you no longer see on this earth, then you damn well can get over a breakup. Trust and believe that. OK, now. Let's get to her next video of um, when she's having, she's going through 
her different emotions and i believe this was part of her grieving check this out this is hard just gotta do it by yourself it's just hard but i'm doing it I'm doing it though We doing it, honey, so oh well. And then you know the constant reminder, like well y'all don't know cause y'all like I don't know, it's just a constant reminder when you see like the person you used to know. And, like, Here's where she's starting to feel that guilt where you start to kind of feel sorry for them and you start to feel sorry for yourself and you get into this sadness. But ladies go through it don't try to go around it go through it sit through it and continue your mission Con continue your healing journey because a person that has continuously showed you who they were that is who they are and i'm just sending all the prayers he came way that she can stay away from that man because he is no good for her nor her kids this is a body cam of Rich Homie Kwan girlfriend. Once she called 911 and they showed up, they kind of interviewed her, asked her what was going on. Y'all take a look at this video and let me know what y'all think. My girlfriend. What happened? I left to take my son to school this morning and he was laying on the couch. But I seen like mail all over the floor, like he had knocked over something, like he was trying to get somewhere to sit down. I don't know. So um, when I left, he was still away. I checked on him and I put a blanket over him. I came back. I'm like, okay, he's still good. I left him there. He'll okay. usually just get up and come in the room. So after that, I woke up around 11. I'm coming here. Not to feel his pulse or heart or anything. So when he saw, when he saw, him, when he saw him the first time, was he breathing? He, he, was, like, he was breathing, but he was breathing hard. It was really hard, but you didn't like, think nothing of it. It's, no, I didn't. Mean, he that, was just asleep. I, I, Does he have any underlying condition or anything? No, not that I know of. He's never been having to put on medication in hospital or anything. Okay. So you said last time you went out, you said went to the club last night or something? No, I no, he didn't yeah. go anywhere. Okay. He didn't go nowhere. So I don't. He didn't go nowhere. Okay. So what you say? You you came in. He was laying on the couch. Yeah. When I came when I came out the room, that our room is right here. He was laying on the couch when That's, I took my son to school this okay, morning. Okay. He was good. I, I came back. Good. He was still good. Put the blanket over did him. You, did you have to, did you talk to him by any chance or anything? Or no, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't talk. He mm -hmm. was just sleep. Mm -hmm. So I left him there, I put a blanket over him, mm -hmm. and I got up at 11, and I come in here, I put his face cold, face cold and that's okay. how I knew if he was breathing, because his earring was moving, because his pulse. Yeah, okay, it's supposed to mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, uh, Did they working on him? So you say he was foaming out the mouth? Yeah, I turned his face over, and I seen, like, Do you see anything, stuff, maybe and... anything he might have taken or anything like that? No. Okay. All right, thank you. What's your name now? Amber. Amber, all right. Just give us a second while they're working on it, okay? Ready is the best that we do what everybody can, all right? So anybody here, I mean, what, what was he doing yesterday? He wasn't doing anything. Did he eat anything? Like? Yeah, he ate yesterday. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be the judge and the jury, but I'll tell you what, I am going to judge her actions on this video. And it is bothersome. It's really, really bothersome. I really don't know what to think. I, I didn't see a tear, but, you know, they are saying she could be in shock. We can't determine how someone grieve. I know that. But this just, this ain't looking right to me. It's not looking right. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment below. Church, TMZ has gotten a hold of the toxicology report in the Rich Homie Quan case. And according to the Fulton County Medical Examiner, fentanyl has claimed another one. Now, according to the report, Rich Homie Quan succumbed to a combination of fentanyl, alprazolam, codeine, and promethazine. Now, THC was also apparently present in his system, but it wasn't a contributing factor. Well, shout out to Dasher for that update. And I just want to say, it's a lot of younger kids that are doing these different type of rugs and mixing things and peel, it's peel pop. It's just a lot of stuff going on. And I really think that we need to start trying to talk to the, to this younger generation about the things that, you know, they take in and mixing all these cocktails or whatever you want to call it together. Like this can be, this can go terribly bad. And we've seen it. We see it right here with Rich Omi Kwan. Yeah, I was going to get into Peach McIntyre, but I think I'll save that one. 
real quick, let's sum this whole thing up with let's end this. Let's let's go out with with Janelle. Okay, I'm gonna play a video that one of my supporters sent me. And when she sent it, she said, Harmony, listen to this. He said he's already moved to L.A. Y'all take a listen and tell me if you can hear it. Oh, yeah. He's playing basketball. He's coming back home. 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 I think oh, I should okay. turn this way. Oh, yeah. hey, I'm going to have to get that picture. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, give us a little bit. Y'all. I just want to move over a little bit because that TV is above us. Yeah, let's take it over here. Oh, He really, really from Philly. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Two on five, two, six, seven. Love us, Bill. Love us, Bill. Love us, he already know what they want to see. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Going back home. I'm moving to LA. She want a picture. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Did y'all hear that? The guy asked him. Um, did he move back home? He said, I moved to, I moved back home and then I moved to LA. Now, is he talking in present time as if he has recently moved to LA or was Janelle living in LA before and then moved to Atlanta? I don't know this fella. I don't know him. I didn't know him before Brianna. So y'all drop a comment below and let me know. What do y'all think? Do y'all think he's talking about present time? He has already moved to LA? Hmm, let me let y'all listen one more time. Oh, yeah. He's playing basketball. He's coming back home. 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 He's coming <laughs> one thing I love about going to the high risk doctor appointment is you they send you pictures directly to your phone after the ultrasound. And baby, my son shining in there got his daddy nose and lips. I'm about to insert it right now. And y'all tell me what y'all see. I know what I see, but y'all tell me what y'all see. It's definitely giving daddy son, <laughs> daddy twin for sure. Oh God, my head. Oh God. <laughs> then y'all, let's make this let's make this goddamn clear right now. I am not. I repeat, I am not laughing at the baby on the sonogram. I am laughing because she is trying to convince us that sh that the baby. <laughs> Ooh, that the baby looks like Janelle. Oh my God, y'all. The baby doesn't look like anything right now but a baby. And it's giving when she said, what is it giving? It's giving. You're trying to prove that he's the baby's daddy. That's what it's giving. Um, ah, this child is so weird i don't even know what to say uh, i'm just gonna leave it at that and again i repeat i am not laughing at the baby in the sonogram y'all because we got some silly ass people on this internet i am laughing that she put that picture up there like we were supposed to know what the hell it was and y'all know what she keeps talking about her baby sunshine. That's because I believe it's only one baby and it's a boy. It's her sunshine. I don't believe it's two, but she always said that the girl is hiding. Okay. Just like I said about you, Kane. If she proved me wrong, ha ha ha. But I believe it's one boy. That's just, that's just my opinion. And I've been saying that since day one and that's what I'm sticking to. But y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Um, the most the, the 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 weirdest part is 
I didn't expect her people. I don't know why I gave them more credit than that. I just really didn't expect for them to go in a comment and be like, yeah, he looked like um, Janelle. You know, the little girl's going to look like you. I never expected them to do that because the baby looks like it's supposed to look when it's inside of your stomach. It doesn't look like a baby daddy or a baby mama. I'm sorry. All right, y'all. Now, after seeing him, y'all put y'all vote in the comments. Do y'all see daddy or do y'all see mommy? Definitely not mommy. <laughs>